Hi everybody, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Hope you guys are keeping well. Today I'm going to look at the new Hi-Fi Man HE400i 2020. And these have a frequency range of 20 hertz to 35 kilohertz. They're rated at 35 ohms and have a sensitivity of 93 dB and weigh 370 grams. So in this review, I'm going to talk about them, compare them to a number of other headphones, the Sundara, the Divas, some Sennheiser headphones, and ultimately say, should you buy these? They are pretty good budget headphones. Let me go and grab them and show what they look like on my head. These are the HE400i, the new 2020 version, and at an incredible low price of £169, that makes these very accessible to a lot of people. Um, they have connectors here that plug in for each side, like so. Nice click in. If I go a bit closer, you can see the pads. They've got a little bit of swivel here. They move that way. Nice thick. This is really nice and thick and quite heavy. Um, and as you can see, baffles there. But let's put these on. They've got a left and a right in here, and you can adjust these. I about there let's put them on so they actually feel very comfortable on and that's what they look like at the other end this is quite a thick cable and if you can see the size of the cable it's quite sort of chunky and you have a decent connector and you do get a 3.5 uh, to 6.3 adapter in the box there isn't much else in the box at all but for £169, it's not too bad. Um, how do they compare to the Divas in terms of looks? Well, the Divas um, are here. They, they've got this uh, brighter colour. It's not my favourite, if I had to choose. Um, here's the black and here's the Divas side by side. Pretty similar, to be honest. Um, I prefer the black look. This is quite distinctive. These also have the option to plug on the Bluetooth module. These do cost a bit more, but do they sound, how do they sound compared to that? I'll let you know in a second. These are the Sundaras, and again, uh, fairly similar, except you can see now, you don't have this thick band. You have this mechanism, which goes like so. Um, these are even more comfortable than the HE400Is. And again, have a very similar system, cable. Um, yeah, that's the Sundaras. These are the Anandas. Same sort of band on top, but huge cups. In terms of overall comfort, I do prefer the Sundara and the uh, HE400 uh, round cups. And something that's just come out, these are the new Sennheiser um, HD 560S. I've had a lot of time with these. Um, so yeah, let's go and talk about how each of these compare um, to the HE400i and which one you should buy. So first up, I'm gonna talk about um, HE400i versus Diva. Um, one of the key differences you can see with the Diva, it has, only you only connect the headphones via one side here, whereas you have a cable going up to each um, ear cup. This also has the option of a Bluetooth module. If I'm being honest, I prefer not only the color, but also the sound out of these HE400i. They're a little bit more spacious. It's got a nice, um, the bass in, in terms of response isn't ultra deep, but it's, a, it's not overemphasized, I should say. It's got a decent sound stage. Um, it's very airy. Um, everything you play through these, whoever's sitting next to you in the same room will hear what you're listening to. That's just a, a trait of these planar magnetics. They're pretty neutral. <coughs> There's a lot of detail on the treble. The mid-range is pretty good as well. Um, the Divas tend to have a little bit more um, sub bass, sort of bass, just a little bit more. So maybe that's something to consider. And obviously you've got the versatility of the Bluetooth module that plugs onto the ear. So you've got 
you know, quite a bit more, um, but they are very, very similar. In reality, you're probably just paying for a bit of Bluetooth and a very, very slight difference in their tuning. But at this price, if you're really on a budget, so far, these would be my choice. No, no nonsense, no frills, just a good planner magnetic. So let's look at uh, how they compare to the Sundara. So these are the Sundaras and they've got a different grill. So they look slightly different grill wise compared to this. They've got different headbands. In terms of comfort, they're both very comfortable. These are more comfortable. I think these fit better. I do like this particular system of the light band here. Others may prefer the comfort of these, but I do think this is the design to go. Um, do the Sundaras, which are double the price, sound better? Yes, in every, every way. The mid-range, the treble, the bass, there's just more quality of that across the whole spectrum. I will leave in the description box down below not only links to all the products so you can actually check out more specs on them, but also the actual playlist that I use. They have a certain uh, 10 or so tracks that I listen through for all of these headphones. So I will leave those there for you. Um, in terms of, um, you know, these have more faster dynamic bass. Um, I think the treble and the mid range is more involving. Uh, classical, I think slightly better on these just this more presence and detail. But again, you're not talking twice 50% double quality, you know, these aren't double the quality of the HE400Is. Um, so they are, again, pretty good value. But what about something completely different from the Sennheiser? So these are the Sennheiser um, HD560Ss. Um, these are completely, obviously, being Sennheiser, different design, so they have, um, Cable on one side, let's just put these on my head, like so. These are more comfortable. These don't leak as much, but they still leak all the sound they have on a band like so. Um, but you've got different, different style. These are um, 120 ohms, so they've got a more of a richer, warmer mid-tone. These are faster in dynamics and speed and attack. Um, they're far more airy, but these have a quite a forward presentation. They are very detailed, and some people really, really like these a lot. But I think um, overall, these have better response across all genres. Um, I wouldn't use these for electronic music unless you can EQ the bass up a bit, because I know people like having a lot of bass. These um, do sound deeper on the bass. I wonder if Sennheiser put a slight V in the sound, but they have a slight V, and so they're more warmer forward. I mean, plan and magnetics are quite a neutral approach. Um, what I don't like <coughs> with these um, Sennheisers is they have this ridiculously long cable, and out of the box it comes at 6.3, why on earth did they not just put that as 3.5 with an adapter instead of using this clunky thing which I have in the box, which is a 6.3 to 3.5 adapter and making this thing really long or not just have a separate cable. Yes, you can buy after cables and I've got another pair of Sennheisers and I can swap the cable over. I just wish they didn't do this particular style. Just say, how do these compare? to the Anandas, Anandas are miles better in every aspect, so we won't even go there. But for £169, I think it's amazing. I still can't go over the price of these. Um, there you go. Any questions, look below and I'll answer them. Sorry, leave them below and I'll answer them. This is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. So again, any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them below. Take care guys, catch you guys soon. Bye for now.